speed. <laughs> Hi, I'm Konstantin from Stuttgart, Germany, the city where Mercedes and Porsche come from. And looking at their electric cars, their choice is rather limited. Mercedes has the EQC, an unspectacular SUV. Porsche offers the Taycan, a spectacular performance sedan. And now, a new Swedish-Chinese sub-brand of Volvo brings its second model into the electric game, the Polestar 2. No, 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 yes, it's not an SUV. Against the mainstream, the Polestar 2 more looks like a sedan. Okay, a lifted sedan, and yes, it's beefy, weighing more than two tons. But the car looks not aggressive. You can see Volvo's design DNA, elegant and not overstyled. This car is about a face in the crowd. Thank you, Polestar. According to Polestar, this is the first production car with Google built-in. So it offers services like Google Maps, Google Assistant, Google Play. And for your personal settings, you're supposed to have a Google account. Car settings can be controlled via voice, saying, Hey Google, change temperature to 21 degrees. All right, changing the temperature to 21 degrees. But what if you live in Apple's world? Apple CarPlay, for instance, does not work here. Oh, hold on. For now, the iPhone will connect via Bluetooth and next year Apple CarPlay will be available. Wow! 30, 40, 60 kilometers. Wow, I love it, 100. This is good training for your neck muscles. <laughs> Zero to 100 kilometers or 62 miles an hour in less than five seconds. But how about the top speed? Volvo has just started limiting top speed on all of their brand new cars at 180 kilometers an hour as a signal for safety, Volvo says. And many electric cars are limited to even less in order to preserve the battery. And uh, the Polestar 2? Ooh, passing 180. Oh, 209 kilometers per hour. Polestar? We have to talk. You promised 205. <laughs> Seems in this case the wish to signal power was a bit stronger than the wish to signal safety. Well, anyhow, this is more than fast enough for the Deutsche Autobahn. Remember the smell of diesel? The days when you would wear plastic gloves to fill up diesel? Your grandchildren won't believe you if you tell them one day. Two. Charging time to 80% of the battery, 40 minutes. But only when you find an extra CCS powered charging station. Otherwise, it takes hours. At least this gives you time to smell the car. <laughs> Smells good. Seems even insects like the car. The Polestar guys say they even offer a vegan version, which means you won't find any leather in the interior. But sorry, Polestar, leather is an option with many cars and you don't have to order it. So this is not really the point. Okay, no leather steering wheel too, dashboard and seat covers nearly free of plasticizers and ever wondered what to do with empty plastic bottles? Polestar recycles them into floor mats. There is good news and bad news. The car is 58,000 euros in Germany and 59,000 dollars in the US. A lot of money. This is the bad news. Many states offer rebates or cashback programs for electric vehicles. This can bring the price down to 49 in Germany and 50 grand in some US states. Pretty good news. Still a lot of money? Okay. 
Polestar will offer cheaper versions later with less power and less range, but starting at less than 40,000 euros. While many electric cars can be ordered but don't get delivered, Polestar promises order now and you'll get it this year. So you can get it if you really want it. You can get it if you really want one.